Hey, what's up everyone? Well, Lamont Man here, and this is video eight. Video eight. Dang, I keep up managed to keep this up. Mind blowing. <laughs> yeah, this is this is blog number eight of my DTS. And this last week we learned, we learned about world view. And since last week was Thanksgiving week, we had we were quite short on time, so we managed to so we actually had lecture last Sunday night, twice Monday, and then just one yeah, once one lecture Thursday Tuesday and Wednesday. And then after that we were off for for Thanksgiving week, which which for me was actually quite enjoyable. I went home, went home Wednesday afternoon since there was nothing else planned and else, also everyone else was everyone else was going. So I decided just to anticipate anticipated that. So I packed up and went home for the holidays. And it was all right, but not to really go off subject or anything. But I will get back to the subject in mind. But being at home. Kind of brought back a few reminders. Kind of almost a little, not that painful, but it was just enough to put me in an emotional funk. And I kind of partly lost myself a little bit. I could, yeah, I was a little lost in my mind. And my body is a little sore because I helped my dad rake leaves yesterday. And I'm like, gosh, my lower legs, my. Yeah, part of my legs are sore, my lower back is sore, and parts of my arms are really sore. And it's such a pain to climb out of my car. Ugh. But anyways, yeah, Thanksgiving was pretty good. Went to my dad's side, and it was pretty quiet. Well, quieter than usual from other th people celebrating Thanksgiving because they probably had because they probably had the ball game on, and so we actually didn't. But it was still pl it was still a good time, and yeah. Really enjoyable, and having a little bit of gluten, and sometime later my actually energies did kick in, but I doubt it was from that, from having the stuffing, which was good, which is the best, one of the best things to have on Thanksgiving. I'm thankful. <laughs> but yeah, Thanksgiving was pretty good, and being at home was also pretty good. I got to hang out with my sister a lot, which was fun. But yeah, anyways, back on topic about rural view. We went through quite a lot in the speaker. She was actually pretty good. I actually enjoyed the speaker. And we went through, yeah, we went through quite a lot. And most of the stuff we went through was like spiritual stuff. Like the spirit, like spirit world or so, and spiritual worldviews, and spiritual power times, and spiritual locations, and power objects. And spiritual events, which was quite it was actually was quite interesting to actually go through and learn about. Oh, and uh, spiritual beings, which also was quite was also just as interesting. Yeah, I'm trying to remember if there was anything that really spoke out to me this last week about spirit about worldview, but I think the one interesting thing that actually stood me the most about it was. Mm. I think it was the spiritual power items. Like in some some cultures, like over in Asia, they that I think like the number five is supposed to be good luck. And same with the color blue. There there's several meanings behind. It. I'm not gonna bother going through all, almost any of them, but but just hearing the kind, of, just going through this kind of stuff has really opened up, really opened up my mind and. Partly wanted to learn more, just a little bit about it. So, in the event someday I could go to a different play, go to a different country, if anyone I want to reach out to, I can understand their kind of background and to pretty much better help them. Which I thought it's actually, I think it's actually pretty neat for to actually do. So, so yeah, it's quite an interesting subject. But I'm, but I'm actually quite interested in this week's lecture, lecture topic, which is spiritual warfare. That I actually have been looking forward to. Is 
I feel like I've gone through that several times. So it's going to be quite interesting to see if what I was experiencing has been spiritual warfare, which I don't have much of an opinion on that, but we'll see. But yeah. But so, you know, one of the things I should probably talk about is the departure for the outreach teams is coming up. I mean, I mean, for the, there's three different teams. There's the Armenia group, the group I was a part of, the Cambodian Bali group, and the Korean DTS. They're going to India. They all leave next week. My group was leaving on the 9th, which is a Wednesday. Now, I don't know what to expect about that because that last week is going to be God's character and nature, which looks like it's going to be a half week for most of it because even the Armenia group, they leave the day after the Cambodian Bali group. So I don't know what to expect from that week or how things are going to, but one thing that kind of occurred to me is well, what I'm going to do until my outreach because my own outreach, wherever that may be, it may be down here while I'm in Salem. It's, it won't be happening for another three months at the most. So up until the springtime, so after graduation, which I will be a part of, so thank you, God. But yeah, anyways, I need trying to think of something that to keep me busy for the next three months because I can't go to bike work with my dad. My sister's working for him, and she has a she got a truck just by the end of the summer. In fact, she got it just a few days after our dog Harley was put down. So she's making truck payments, so I'm not going to do that to her unless she finds another job, which I'm praying she does. But yeah, either way, I did try applying to one place, but I couldn't do it because of my situation. They want An employer would want someone who's going to be dedicated for more than three months, and I can't. I don't want to give up doing the outreach. I want to finish this. So hopefully, God permitting, and please give this in your prayers, please, that... I can hopefully an another contractor that my that knows who knows my dad will hopefully hire me. So I'm praying for that, and and also given that time, I'm actually trying to I'm actually plan on saving up to get to buy a truck, which I really want to get since my sister has one and. That pretty much kind of inspired me to do this, so I'm actually looking to get a 1995 Ford F-150. If you don't know what that is, look it up, because I want that kind of truck. Crew cab. <laughs> but yeah, I'm trying, I'm going to try and save up as much, save up to $5,000 to get one. Some I have been looking at actually are pretty, some are as high as 5000 others are below. So I'm, so I want to save up to do that, and... So that's pretty much my that's that's pretty much my dilemma at the moment. And please, prayers, please, please keep that in your prayers, please. I'm using that word. I'm using that word to pretty much as overkill. So yeah, so I have been looking at the benefits of not going on outreach. I mean, I get to be home for the holidays, and I had just gone back from being at home. And if I was going on outreach. Today would have been the last day I would have seen my parents, and so, see, so yeah, I'm actually really glad. So I think that about covers it. I will do so. Yeah, I will do one more DTS video. Actually, probably two more. I'll par I'll do one this weekend after spiritual warfare, and most likely, I'll do half. I'll do one for. For the last week, and that may be coming around probably. I don't know. I'll let you guys know, but I think that pretty much covers it. So, tune in.